welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a big, big video. It is my year two room tour video. Now this is of course the same physical room as my year one video. However, I've upgraded a bunch of my shelves, added a bunch more figures, and I'm really excited to show you what it looks like today. Now I also want to say a huge shout out to this video sponsor by whom I could not be here without. They are my favorite proxy shipping service from Japan, and I'll get more into them later in this video. But for now, let's buckle up and get into the room tour. Hello everyone and welcome to my anime figure collection and office. Here right at the entrance of course is my Eurocamp art. Across from it I have a few new wall scrolls. You may recognize a few from my unboxings and behind the door hangs all of my Itza bag or pin bag collection. These are so cute. This is my Luna themed one, and then we have a Dongan Rampa cloth poster as well. Right at the entrance, I also have a Ark Knights wall scroll, which is one of my absolute favorites to this day. And here is the grand wall of billies. <laughs> so we'll start from the right side. Here are some of my plushies. So these top three here, I actually won from Crane Games in Japan, so they hold fond memories. But let's start with this half Billy over here, opening it up. Now, this is some of my Nendoroid collection. In the back, we have Zero Two, Albedo, Power, Denji. In the middle are the Konosuba Nendoroids, and in the front, we have Rem and Ram. I also have a few minifigures of League of Legends and Skull Panda figurines. At the bottom, there's just a lot of storage, which is nicely concealed in this half Oxberg door. On top of the Nendoroids, I have my Is the Order Rabbit collection, small one but cute. And at the top, there is the Rem and Ram Christmas editions. I love these so much. And of course, on the top of the shelf, we have the two Rem and Ram bunny figures. So that is the first half Billy. And by Billy, I'm talking about the IKEA shelf called Billy. The doors with the glass are called Oxford doors, easy to assemble, and I find they look really clean and modern in any room. So let's take a look at my second Billy shelf. Now this is a full shelf, and we're gonna start with a few of my bunny girls from Freeing. So Kaguya, Madoka, Hamura, and Chika, of course. In the middle, Hamura and Madoka are so precious. These are one fourth freeing figures, and I love that they dress them up in pearlescent pastel dresses. And of course, Chika at the end there looking very cute. Just under this shelf, we have a disposable camera that I actually picked up from my trip to Korea last year, and some of my manga collection. In the corner, there is the adorable Paimon figure from Mihoyo. And under that, I have my Flair Jean d'Arc, one of my absolute favorite figures in my collection. It's just so regal and impressive. I love the giant flag as well. 1-8 scale Queen of Hearts figure next to Ye Sakura's wedding dress version from Apex. On the bottom shelf sits my taller manga as well as my capture card featuring the little Witch Nobeta collaboration. Above my bunny sits some of my other manga and a adorable Nendoroid of Winter Aqua. On the topmost shelf is Anaplex Chika, Kotobukiya Joker, Anaplex Kaguya, and Kotobukiya Morrigan, Optimus Prime, and Lila from Darkstalkers. Sitting above that on top of my detolf is of course my Shinobu resin statue, the first one I ever bought. And Eden right here, oh, I almost touched his butt there. <laughs> this is a glorious statue of Eden in his final season form. Looking great with all his muscles, of course. Here's the commemorative coin, alternate body. And that concludes our second Billy shelf. Moving on to the middle section, the part that ties my whole room together is this beautiful 
wall scroll of Shinobu, which I picked up at Anime Expo last year. It is so beautiful. Underneath sits Kanao's resin statue, which I unboxed in my most recent video. And as you can see here, she's not fully complete. I had to remove some of her big swishes, unfortunately, because it's very wide and it caused the statue to sit really close to the edge of the shelf. But there she is in all her glory. And next to Kanao sits Kane. Oh, she is so beautiful. I love this figure also from Magic Cube and she looks glorious. Underneath those two resin statues, I have some more manga as well as a Totoro minifigure from Korea. I have my tea party figures and cleaning Levi. <laughs> Hollow Light pop-up parades of Marin and Sakura Miko. This pop-up parade is so detailed, definitely one of the most beautiful pop-up parades I've ever seen or owned. Next to that, there is the Dress of Darling shelf featuring Marin's resin statue and of course her Nendoroid as well. On the bottom shelf, I have some fantasy western books and additional pop-up parades and a Super Sonico figure. That is the center of my shelf. Moving on to my next full billy. Let's take a look inside here. I try to keep it consistent so the center always has my taller bunnies. As you can see here, we have Mafuyu Kirisu from We Never Learn, Eruru's original bunny, Yumiko, and Purple Heart. Now these are all 1-4 scales by Freeing as well. Purple Heart was one of my first and still one of my favorites. Yumiko, I love the poker design. And next to them, Eruru's bunny is so soft and beautiful, and Mafuyu's pout is pretty iconic. <laughs> Above them are some Nendoroids from We Never Learn, Horemiya, my tea party at Kidna Nendoroid, and this is the Yona of the Dawn section with Hak. And well, Miku's not part of that series, but she's there anyways. <laughs> Above them, I have my Demon Slayer Kotobukiya figures, Rengoku, Tengen, as well as my Jujutsu Kaisen figures. Um, Nobara, Yuji, and Megumi just look so good together. Above them sit some of my other bunnies, so Kallen, Lucy Heartphilia, and X10 Combat Bunny next to her. This, in my opinion, is one of the best freeing designs by far. And of course, the resin statue of Android 18. Back inside the shelf are more of my manga collection, some more acrylic standees, and a minifigure of Nadeshko. Here are some of my sitting slash kneeling bunnies. Eureka is another gorgeous bunny made, as you can see here. I love the ears especially. Lacus Klein with the Haro ball, so adorable. Raftalia and Danganronpa's Kaede. The bottom of shelf holds some of my treasured manga series, Fruits Basket, Princess Jellyfish, and this adorable Kyo figure from Kotobukiya. Now onto the final Billy shelf. Some more mini figures of League of Legends characters, Kaguya-sama, Exia of course, some Hunter Hunter Nendoroids, the irregular magic high and on top are my demon slayer nendoroids in their final selection arc <laughs> on top some of my jujutsu kaisen figures so megami over here gojo nendoroid and of course the e-stream gojo with the perfect teeth i might add on top of that is the danganronpa bunnies of kyoko and chiaki Sitting at the bottom are some more storage items. So here is the rotating stand and my printer. Closing that up. And here is my full wall of billies. I'm really happy with how this side of my room turned out. <laughs> Onto the window side, here is Button. So you'll normally see Snowflake in this window perch, but Buttons is chilling here today. One of the sweetest, softest cats I've ever met in my life. Next to my wall of billies is this Yamato print of One Piece signed by Sakimi Chan herself, which I met. I met her at Anime Expo and it was such an honor. Her work is amazing. <laughs> Above that is a Fate Grand Order framed art piece. Here is a desk that I use to film all of my figure showcases. Easy to move around, so nice to have. 
on the window are my acrylic standees. I have quite a collection of these as well. And moving on now to my details. I have three of them in total, all from Ikea. Let's start with the rightmost one. The first display is, of course, my Shinobu collection. This one is from Aniplex. Next one over is from Alter, which I think is beautiful. And in the front is, of course, the Kotobukiya one, my favorite of the three scales. And of course, a Shinobu Nendoroid. Underneath, I have more of my Kotobukiya Jujutsu Kaisen collection. So we have Ghetto over here. Gojo looking quite fierce. Yuta. Gojo again from the movie version. And Nanamine with his giant cleaver. In the next shelf, I have my Attack on Titan collection. Here's Good Small Company Mikasa. Levi's Birthday Edition, which I love. Eden's Nendoroid looks really fierce. <laughs> and the first Levi figure I actually picked up, the Tea Party one, and Pop Up Parade Eden's Titan form. The bottom shelf features kind of a rocky theme, so I have Gojo here, I have Tengen's resin statue, which looks really, really cool. In the front is Kotobukiya's Ochako Uraraka from My Hero Academia, love this one. And here is a pop-up parade of Genos from One Punch Man. Now the base is a pop-up parade base, but I've customized it a bit with some foil and some air dry clay. The street lights were actually made out of straws, plastic straws. So I had a lot of fun with this and it was really cool to customize one of these really nice pop-up parades. Moving on to my second detail, detail number two. Let's take a look inside. Konosuba's on the top shelf. We have Aqua's Papa Parade and E Stream's Megumin, still one of my favorite figures in my collection, of course. Next shelf is what I like to call the elegant shelf. <laughs> Yei Sakura from Apex, Hatsune Miku, gorgeous, gorgeous figure, Saber Altar from Karakawa, the kimono version, and Darkness, Oiron version. So elegant. Moving down, here is more of my Konosuba collection. So Megumin China dress version. I love the dumpling in her mouth. Of course, Chomsky at the bottom, adorable. Academy Megumin scale here. Chocolate Megumin prize figure. There's the Yunyun China dress version and winter version pop-up parade Megumin. At the bottom, I tried to put the bases that kind of corresponded, so they're like grassy, so that was Barbara, we have Rimuru and Ranga, and the front is Ryza, and of course, Plakta next to her. So that was detail number two. Moving on to the final detail, number three. Part one of my Danganronpa collection, so here's Hajime from the Kotobukiya line. We have Kyosuke, which is a prize figure, a very detailed prize figure, which I was really blown away by, and Nagito, also from Kotobukiya. In front of them is my Kyoko from Fat Company with Monokuma, and the Monokuma and Monomi Nendoroids. Number two, we start with a couple pop-up parades. So this is Junko's pop-up parade, as well as Nagito's. I thought they turned out really, really well. Here is Chiaki's figure from Fat Company, Makoto Naegi's Nendoroid, and of course Shuichi's minifigure. Now this was one of my most recent purchases from Bai, and I had a great time shopping on Yahoo Japan Auctions. If you're interested in shopping with them, please check out my description below for a coupon link. Here is Isuru Kamakura, the prize figure version. I love how his hair turned out, it's so wavy. <laughs> and underneath is my Pokemon collection. Here is Marnie and Morpika from Max Factory. N from Kotobukiya, still one of my favorite male figures to this day. I just think he's so striking and I love all the colors. Gloria and Sobble from Kotobukiya. 
Nendoroid of Marnie and Morpico, as well as Hangry Morpico. We have two Maze in the center, also from Kotobukiya with Mudkip and Torchic, and Nendoroids of Lana and Lily. Bottom row features a mix of Arknights and Pokemon figures. So we have Hoshiguma, who's one of the coolest figures in my collection. Here is Cynthia. She usually has Garchomp, but he was too big to fit in this shelf. Alola's Mallow and Steenie, Arknight Chen, and Rosa and Snivy. So the next section is a bit NSFW, so be warned there. It is my Bunny Girl collection. They sit on this fluffy pad here. Gibral Bearleg version, Ryoko's Red Bunny Suit version, Darkness, and Megumin, both from the original Konosuba line. Hestia looks so glorious in the front. Taiga from Toradora's bunny version. Behind her is a print of Yor. Shokugeki no Soma Hisako. I love this blue suit. It is so beautiful. Maria was my first binding bunny. And we have Mizuki. Zero Two. Erika. And DF Stella. Here is bunny girl Nezuko. And a print of Doki Doki Literature Club. So I'm pretty glad that these bunny figures are pretty light that they could stand on top of the detolves no problem. And next to my detolves is my desk. I have a smaller shelf above where the Kotobuki and Yusanji figures, my Hayasaka figure, Noodle Stopper Ram, and Precious Gem Anya sit. Here is a cute water bottle with my name on it that I got from work. I especially thought it was fitting to have the gamer chair figures sitting above my desk. <laughs> Here's a cork board filled with some cute little things. I'm a big Blackpink fan, so I have some Blackpink Polaroids, a keychain, and a few Polaroids of my own. On top of my desk, I have a small collection of books. These are some books that I'm reading right now, as well as notebooks. An Arknights cup with some candies, just in case I need a midday pick-me-up. My keyboard is Patrick themed as well as my wrist rest. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of SpongeBob, and this maid figure is one of the first ones I ever bought. Umara Chan Nendoroid that I love. And here is my monitor. I'm working on the previous video that was released. Next to that, I have a Genshin Impact Wall Scroll and the last shelf featuring this Your Camp collection. This is Nadeshko, she is so adorable. Chiaki, ready to put out her sleeping bag. Aoi in front, making her curry. I love this pose, it's so cute. Nendoroid Enna and Chikla, and the 1 10th scale from Altar of Rinshima on her bike. I just love this figure so much, and I'm really glad I was able to use Bai to add this figure to my collection. Beneath my Eurocamp collection, I have another set of Nendoroids. Here's Hanako-kun, Miku, Jinx from League of Legends, Sakura and Junko from the Zombieland Saga series, Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club, Levi, of course you know where he's from, <laughs> Chiaki in her box, and Junko's Nendoroid. At the bottom, there are some minifigures of more Donkarampa characters. Shelf down is Diana and Tristana from League of Legends, and my Funko Pops of Spongebob. I'm still waiting for the Nendoroid, but I cannot wait to unbox him. At the bottom are some more books, and that is the final shelf in my collection. Now these shelves do light up as you can see here, and the way that I did that, I grabbed some LED strips, stuck them all along the inside of each of the Oxford doors. They're then attached to a extension cord at the top of the bookcase, and that cord runs all the way down behind the bookcase. The strips themselves are adhesive, so they just stick right on easily. And here is a full walkthrough tour of my room. Ugh, honestly, anytime I'm having a bad day, I can just walk in here, see all the game anime characters that I love so much, and just instantly lifts my mood. And there I am, sore arms, but happy heart. <laughs> 
Whew, now that was a tiring video to record. I was holding the camera and the gimbal for about 45 minutes straight, just going up and down, side to side. And yeah, my arms were definitely not prepared for that. I apologize for any shaky footage, which there was quite a bit to wade through. And yeah, my collection currently is around 200 figures, a retail cost around 20K. So it is a giant collection, something I never thought I would ever own. And it is truly a dream come true. So I hope you enjoyed the room tour. And I wanna say another huge thank you to buy this video sponsor for being with me literally from video one. And I just can't really put to words how much I'm grateful for their support. If you are interested and shopping with Buy, which is a proxy shipping service from Japan, please check out my description below for a coupon code as well as some more information on how to use their service. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you again next time. Bye-bye.